it's just amazing. But Moodlemook on Wiz IQ has now 1,345 participants. And the numbers are going to rise. I hope you're going to have a wonderful experience on the MOOC. My name is Nellie Deutsch, and I'm just going to walk you through the navigation of the course. So let's start with the three sections. There is a left section right here. Currently, it's on the course feed, which is a discussion form. There is the center, and there is a right. Now, you will have this in your WizIQ account. You can see from the top, that's your name. There's mine. And home is where you go in order to get back. Now, since we're on the course, on the uh, Moodle MOOC on WizIQ course, if you want to set things, you go over here. So that's a lot of information. But yes, there's a lot of reading, and I think that's what makes online learning so special. So let's take a look, first of all, at the top right. Okay, the top right, if I open it up, will say course settings or to leave the course. I hope you don't leave, or at least before you go, I hope you say goodbye. Now, for the course settings, this is uh, how you can set it up. Notifications, you want to be notified every time someone writes on the course feed or the discussion form or whenever there's a uh, comment or a new post starts. Okay, you want, want to be alerted to that. If not, then simply uncheck it and then you won't get notified. Next. All right, so let's take a look at the left here. The left is actually your navigation, and make sure that in order to see the left, you have to be on home in the course. Now, you may have more than one course, so make sure that this is the course that we're talking about. And we're going to go into the course feed. Every time you want to see all the discussion forms, you have to go to the course. So you go to home and you go to the course. Otherwise, you'll just get the last. Okay, so we're in the course feed, and that's what you'll see. These, and I'm scrolling down, are all the discussions. People have introduced themselves, added comments to one another. So if you want to get everything, you need to go to home and to the course from the beginning, and that's when you'll get everything. If you want to go to the top, okay, once you scroll down, you just click on the uh, top here, okay, right here in case you missed it. There it is. So you click on that, and then you're able to go straight to the top. Highly recommend that you uh, read and get a sense of uh, who's in the course, the participants, where they're from, what their interests are, so you can connect. The idea behind the MOOC, of course, is for everybody to connect and to continue engaging for learning. Okay, so we're going to go down now to uh, the next area, which is the courseware. The courseware is actually the content. And the content consists of the live online classes, which are also connected to the course feed. You can respond to them and to the tutorials. Okay, and you can see both right here at the top. There are seven classes for this course, and so far there are two tutorials. There will be a tutorial for each of the seven live classes, and maybe more, but expect at least seven. And these will be in the form of presentations, but you may also get PDF files, videos, audio, of course, files as well. Okay, so let's take a look at the classes. And you can notice the dates. Okay, I've arranged it this way, but these can be arranged in any way you wish as uh, someone who's the admin of their course. So the first one, of course, is uh, this one. Okay, on May 31st. And then you've got the next class. Okay, and you just scroll down and go to the... If you miss a class, you'll click on the same link and you'll get the recordings. Okay, they're all there. So every class gets recorded automatically. Okay, so there are four weeks, four live classes, one opening, and then one called Going Beyond the Moodle MOOC. 
Now just beneath the uh, live classes, you'll find the two tutorials that are there so far. Okay, there's one and there's another one. The syllabus, of course, is uh, not uh, really up to date. You would have to go to the syllabus, which is on Google Drive, to get uh, the updates. And in order to do that, you'll have to go to the top right, which is right here. This is the announcement area. You'll be notified if I add in any announcements. And here is the syllabus. The syllabus is interactive. You may um, add comments, questions, and so on, and you'll get response from uh, the participants or from the facilitators. There's a video here. It's um, a way for you to try out an introduction through YouTube. You may um, respond to the video by a video and then that's added. If you want to share the course with your friends, you're invited to do that. Please feel free to uh, share. Here's a copy of the link. You just copy it and place it anywhere you wish. In addition, you can also share through these social networks. There's a like if you want to show your like. You can tweet it, uh, add it to your individual and groups in LinkedIn and you can also add it to Google Plus to your connections and communities there. The uh, course learners, course providers, if you've got a question feel free to ask the course provider. In this case um, it's Nellie Deutsch by going into course provider and just filling in the form. There is also course learners. If you want to know more about the course to share with your friends, you're welcome to do that. So let's take a look at the course provider. There's just a form here that you can fill, send the message. Course learners, you get a chance to um, go through the list and maybe connect. Okay, you can also uh, make friends. About the course, if you go to about the course, and uh, this is important, you go to the top right and click on that, you'll get the settings again, what I showed you at the beginning, leave the course, course settings, you can go through the course, take a look at the videos, the information, and that's it. All right, so I hope uh, this will help. The main reason that I share this with you is that the course feed, it's really important if you want to get all of the course feed, you need to uh, go to home and to your course. Again, home, and that's where you'll see all your courses, this particular course. They are home just to show you. Okay, I've got lots of courses. Okay, this is my navigation on the left here. All my courses. I can also create a course, notice that. But I'm going to go to this course. I can open this up. And if I open it up, I'll get boxes. Otherwise, I just go through a list. You can view more. It's really, really intuitive. And of course, there are lots of options. So here are the courses. Okay, and this particular course is right here. Okay, I've got a few courses, so I just click on it, and that's how I get all of the course feed, okay, all of the discussions. I think it's really important to be able to do that. Okay, that's when the whole thing is open, and you go to the top. Otherwise, you just get the last one. All right, so uh, happy Moodling. Enjoy the course, and uh, feel free to ask questions. Use the syllabus, and follow along. Thank you.